Tastes so complicated. Like it's trying to be something better. Open Grave was a movie that was released in 2013, but no one really saw it then. I couldn't find it last year, and I just found it now, so I decided to review it, mainly because this movie is not that great. But it stars Charlotte Copley in it, the star of District 9. Charlotte wakes up in the bottom of a pit of all these other dead bodies with no memory of who he is. He gets out and then finds this house full of other people who have no idea who they are or what their memories are. And then they're all trying to figure out who they are, all the while these weird zombie kind of like people are walking around and doing weird stuff. Now this is a concept you've seen before, the convenient amnesia, and for the most part it doesn't really work well. Mainly because this whole movie is based on the concept of plot convenient amnesia. That's when two different people remember the exact same thing at the exact same time in two totally different places, and then they come together, and then that's where the main plot occurs. If you want another movie that had this happen in, there was a movie that came out a couple of years ago called Unknown that had Jim Caviezel in it. Exact same thing, all these people remember this one thing at the exact same time, and then there's like seven plot twists that occur. Open Grave isn't a horror movie, or at least that's not what it is trying to be, or maybe it is, but it fails at that. Whatever happens that's supposed to be scary in this movie is not, and whatever tries to be uh, thrilling is not. It's just weird. The whole zombie thing is kind of interesting at the end but you have to wait an hour and 40 minutes to actually be interested in this film. The characters aren't that great. You don't really care for any of them. You don't even care for Charto. The only time you care about Charto is listening to when his accent breaks. The cinematography is not too bad. That's one thing I could say that's all right about it. There's some really nice shots, but then there's this part where this guy's walking through this forest and then it all of a sudden turns into some sort of Terrence Malick film with weird voiceover and really nice shots and people touching leaves and having this inability to walk through a park normally. But then it just turns to muddled poop, just like the rest of the story is. It's not anything you'll remember. It's not something that's really scary. It doesn't even succeed at being something that will intrigue you. I fell asleep watching this three times. So anyway, Open Grave is something you won't remember, and Charto probably doesn't even remember that he made this movie. It's a premise that was really cool, but it totally failed in every form of way in the execution. The shots are nice, and the ending was kind of intriguing, but other than that, this movie is not very memorable. That's why it gets a 2 out of 7 for me. Why you say 7? Because I'm strange like that, and that was something that stuck in high school. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I look forward to giving you more morning tea reviews.